Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Star back in the video today, and I'm going to be predicting, I'm going to be giving y'all my week 18 NFL predictions, as I'm really excited to go over this final week of the NFL, um, you know, there are a lot of games that are meaningful, that don't mean anything this week, but there are a lot of games that are going to dictate how this season goes down, and how this season look, how this how this postseason looks, and I'm talking about the seven seeds in both conference with the AFC, uh, the the battle between the Steelers, the Dolphins, and the Patriots in the AFC, and then the battle between the NFC with the Packers, the Lions, and the Seahawks. We have an interesting, really interesting battle for the seven seed in both conferences, both AFC and NFC. Can't wait to talk about that. Also, can't wait to talk about some other games. Um... So, yeah, let's get into it. And we're going to start with a game that really doesn't mean anything. Just, you know, seeding really for the Vikings. Um, Vikings, Bears. Bears without Justin uh, Fields tomorrow. Uh, Nathan Peterman starting. I've never been a fan of him. He's I've watched him play, I mean, absolutely awful. I got the Vikings winning this one 31-10 to uh, going into the postseason. Not playing their starters a lot in this game. Maybe a little bit. Not a lot, though. Um, don't want to, you know run them out too much but so yeah um next game i got the Bengals and the ravens i got the Bengals winning this one 28 to 17 i think they're gonna be really upset after you know zach taylor was really upset after um you know the nfl with how they handled that with the with the flip the, with the flip the will flip a coin if the ravens beat the Bengals. so i think zach taylor's telling his team there will be no coin toss we're going to win this game we're going to for sure play at home in the playoffs, in the first round, I think the Bengals are gonna go crazy on the Ravens. Um, not a, not a, not a. I don't think it's gonna be a blowout, but I think the Bengals they're they're going out there to win tomorrow and good too. I got it twenty eight to seventeen. Uh, moving on to the Bills and the Patriots. Um, as the Bills play football after less than a week of the way of, of their, the tragedy of their brother. Um, but thank God he is okay. DeMar Hamlin's okay. Hopefully he'll be able to watch this game in the hospital tomorrow. Um, even though he's in Cincinnati, they better find a way for him to watch that game um, because that's going to be a really special game. I feel bad for the Patriots because um, – they're not gonna about. They're about to miss the playoffs because of the, this Bills team. The Bills are a team that is about to go show the world who they're who they're fighting for. Um, the Bills are gonna, in my opinion, are going to kick ass tomorrow. Um, now there is a chance I could see the Patriots winning in a way as if the Bills um, decide to start resting some starters because uh, the Chiefs have already locked the one seed. But I don't know if I see that happening, guys. I see the Bills completely playing their starters, playing for DeMar. Um, I don't think the Bills want to lose this game. Even if they haven't, even if the one seed is not even, um, not even in. Also, there is something to fight for, because if you win, if you win, the AFC Championships is, is, is in a neutral site if you play the Chiefs. I'd rather play in a neutral site than play in Arrowhead because that place is just, oh, my God. Arrowhead in the playoffs is awful. That is that is one of the worst stadiums to play in in the playoffs because that is such a loud crowd. So the Bills do have something to play for tomorrow. The one, the number one, they have they have DeMar Hamlin to play for, play for their brother. And then also because the neutral siding as well. I got the Bills winning in this one, 38 to 23. Uh, Texans, Colts, uh, the game that only matters about draft picks. I already talked about this in, in my Texans preview because obviously I'm a Texans fan, but I'll give you all my prediction. Texans win it 16 to 10. Uh, you can guys can go listen to my Texans preview here why I think the Texans will win tomorrow. Not just because I'm a Texans fan because the goals are trash too. Uh, Jets, Dolphins, here's one of those first games where you know we're starting to decide uh, who's going to be the seventh seed in the AFC? I got the Jets winning tomorrow. Joe Flacco starting. I think Joe Flacco most likely he's going to retire this season. Um, I think Joe Flacco ends it off with a bang. Beats beats out number three quarterback Skylar Thompson, and uh, gets the win twenty two to nineteen. And Joe Flacco gets to fly to re- retirement and eliminate the Dolphins. So now it's down. Now with the 
with the Patriots with my with my predictions now with the Patriots losing and the Dolphins losing um with that now all the Steelers now the Steelers I mean they they win they win they're they're the seventh seed now if the Steelers were to lose if the all the Steelers Dolphins and Patriots were to lose I don't know who would be the seventh seed I believe the seventh seed if that were to happen would be the Patriots but I'm not sure that is not something I'm not sure about, um, but I'm gonna quickly give you my next two, the next two scores so I can get to the uh, Steelers. The Bucks beating the Falcons twenty three to sixteen, and the Saints beating the Panthers thirteen to seventeen. I'll get back on the reasons why. Steelers Browns. I got the Steelers winning this one twenty to sixteen and making it in as the seven seed in the AFC playoffs to soon play the Buffalo Bills, which I think would actually be a great game. Obviously, the Bills are the better team, but the Steelers have a great defense, which could make it a good matchup um, if the Steelers and Bills would play in this, in the first round, which I could really like that matchup. could be a really good matchup because of the defense of the Steelers. Um, could, and the Steelers have always been able to, um, you know, kind of, stop up the bit the bills the bills offense a little bit we saw them we saw the Steelers defense and not this year but last year was able to completely stop Josh Allen last year so uh if I'm if I'm the Steelers I'm happy to play the bills in the in the playoffs um I'm I'm thrilled um because I'd rather play the I'd rather play the bills than 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 the Chiefs obviously the bills they're playing for DeMar Hamlin but um, I just don't think the Steelers could handle Patrick Mahomes and, you know, the, what he is. And um, the Steelers have able, been able to stop Josh Allen before. So I think that could be a, a great spot for them. And I do think the Steelers will be getting the seventh seed in the AFC. All right, some more meaningless games. You got the 49ers and the Cardinals. I got the 49ers getting the win 27-6. to six, And um, this would get them the two seed, I think. That's the two seed for the 49ers if they win. Uh, Broncos Chargers Chargers trying to get the win to avoid playing the Bengals in the first round and end up playing the Jaguars. Um, I I have the Broncos um, giving them you know a fight a fight, but I think the Chargers win this one twenty seven to twenty three. Wouldn't be surprised if maybe a possible upset there, but um, yeah. Um, so the Cowboys Commanders. Um, I would not be surprised if the Commanders win tomorrow because right now the way I have this game going out is I have the Cowboys having a, like a good lead at halftime, like fourteen to three, something like that, and then um, the Eagles Giants game is um, you know why the Cowboys are playing their starters. They're they're trying to win the division. If the Cowboys win and the Eagles lose, then um, then then the Cowboys would win the division and become the first seed in the NFC. Um, but I do have the Eagles uh, controlli- controlling this game against the Giants um, tomorrow. I have them having a big lead at halftime, which eventually the Cowboys will will notice that um, – the the Cowboys will notice that the Eagles are up big. Their chances for the division is over. They'll take out their starters like CD, Dak, and Tony Pollard so they don't get hurt for the playoffs, get ready for the playoffs against the Buccaneers, put in Cooper Rush and some backups. And honestly, if you 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 know, you know what Cooper Rush has in him. You, he, he had it earlier in the season. I think you put in Cooper Rush uh, with a lead going into the third quarter, you still get the win. I got, um, you know, the, I, th- I got Cooper Rush and Dak Prescott splitting this game. Dak Prescott plays the first half, and then possibly if the Eagles are beating the crap out of the Giants who are not playing Saquon Barkley or Daniel Jones tomorrow, um, then the Cowboys sit their players and Cooper Rush and the backups come in, and I got the Cowboys winning this one 24-9. Commanders are starting Sam Howell. I don't see much success for them tomorrow. Uh, giant getting to the Giants and Eagles. Like, like I said, I got a I got a um, a blow off for the Eagles. I think I think Giants are able to score some points in the in the third. In the, I mean, in the second in the second half. But I got the Eagles winning this one uh, by big thirty five to seventeen. Um, now we get into you know the finale. We get into the part the best the biggest part of the end of the season. The set we talked about the seven seed for the for the AFC. Who's getting in as the seventh seed in the NFC? So start with the Rams and Seahawks. So basically how this goes is um, Packers control their destiny. If the Packers beat the Lions tomorrow, they are in. 
So now basically, but if the Seahawks, so all these three teams you see right now, the Lions, the Seahawks, the Packers, all three team, all of those three teams have a shot. Now, but if the Seahawks beat the Rams tomorrow, the Lions are eliminated. So basically the Lions would be going into a game against the Packers, um, against the Packers where they already be eliminated. The Packers, if they won, the Packers, if they won, they would uh, be the seventh seed. Now, but if they lost, the Lions would not make the playoffs. The Seahawks would be the seventh seed. Now, for instance, if the Rams were to beat the Seahawks, um, if the Rams were to beat the Seahawks, then wh- whoever would win the Lions-Packers game would become the seventh seed of the NFC. Um, getting into the Rams-Seahawks game, I have the Seahawks winning against the Rams 26-16, uh, to which officially would eliminate the L- Detroit Lions. And then uh, the NFC seven seed would come down to the Green Bay Packers and the Seattle Seahawks. Um, and then Aaron Rodgers will be Aaron Rodgers. And potentially his last game in Lambeau Field um, tomorrow, they'll be the seven seed. Well, they'll not be able to play a game at home in the postseason, um, possibly the end of his Green Bay career. I got Aaron Rodgers having his best game of the season and carrying his this Packers team to the win against the Lions, thirty eight to twenty four, and get them in as the seven seed, and whoever that whoever they're playing is why whether that's the Forty ers or that's the Vikings, I think Aaron Rodgers is gonna send them to the playoffs and hopefully maybe the, make a playoff run. Um, so basically, the seven seed, the big seven seed for the a- the seven seed showdowns in, in the AFC and NFC, I have for the NFC finishing as the Packers, and in the AFC, I have the Steelers finishing as the um, as the seven seed in the, in the AFC. I don't see the Dolphins winning with Skylar Thompson. I don't see the Patriots winning with all the stuff that's happened with Demar Hamlin this week. The Bills are going to play for their brother. Also, they they want to play in a neutral site. They don't want to. They're not going to want to play in Arrowhead in the potential AFC Championship game. Um, and I I do see this. I do think the Steelers win against the Browns. I think they they have the potential. Um, to have a great defensive game and Kenny Pickett and the Steelers offense will um will will double that with their defense. So I think that the Steelers are heading to the playoffs and I just, so I think that same thing with the Packers. That's for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know let me know your predictions and let me know your give me your thoughts on mine. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and it should be a really fun week eighteen and season finale. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.